Hi, my name is Sam and I am the designer for the new LEGO Ideas International Space Station set. The ISS is a space station built by the world's space agencies, which have collaborated together to build this huge structure which is in space doing experiments and research. On the ISS model there's uh, lots of small modules which have different functions, so you can rotate all the solar panels as if the real space station was following the rays of the sun and it also includes some small transport capsules and a space shuttle that you can place around the model. One of the biggest challenges has been because the space station exists in zero gravity, it's actually to be building it for Earth's gravity is a huge challenge because the, the weight of it can bend and flex the model. I've been working uh, with Corvin, the co-designer of this model, to work on how we can maintain the rotating structure and keep it so it stays straight as if it was in zero gravity. We had to figure out a way how to minimize that drooping effect on the model and we came up with a solution using ball joints and brackets to make it a very stable build that prevents that. I think my favorite part is actually the large solar panel arrays. There's just such an iconic element of the space station and they inform the silhouette. So whenever you see a picture, you see these giant reflective solar panels up there in space. It was really nice to see how they translated into LEGO, especially with the uh, new decorations we made for them. The ISS model is in what we would call micro scale, which is not minifigure scale that you would normally see in a lot of LEGO models. And this has really been dictated by our original fan designer submission. His name is Christoph. He had built it so you could put it on your desk. And to really show the scale, we've included these uh, micro astronauts as well. The ISS model has actually been created in a really interesting way, kind of different to what we do on LEGO Ideas normally. We had a 10-year anniversary where we actually went back into the archives, chose four different submissions that never made it to become a real LEGO set, and we gave them a second chance. And in this fan vote, it actually had almost double the votes of any other submissions that were, were there. And that's been really important for us to make sure that we cater for what people love. Christoph actually submitted a large-scale version of the ISS, which got to 10,000 votes already. And then when that got rejected, he built the small-scale version that we eventually wound up turning into an actual product. And that also got to 10,000 votes, but didn't make it for the review process after that. He was really excited to have another shot at this, and it was really nice to see how passionate and determined was to see this model turned into an actual product. So we had got all of his uh, design files, all of his photographs, anything we could get from him to help us develop the set. And then again, we've also been speaking with the space agencies to help us align the design and make it accurate. And that's really where we started to form the shape of the model and try and work on the design and the accuracy and really make it look like the real thing. Working uh, on the model has been really fun, especially working with NASA because NASA don't have a toy division as such so when you really want to see how something looks you actually get in touch with the real scientist who designed that part or that engine or that window or something like that so they're the person approving the design actually designed the real thing that's in space. So I've been pretty passionate about space for a long time. One of my very first LEGO models as a kid was a space shuttle transporter. I think the ISS is a fantastic symbol for international collaboration. It is one of the most ambitious construction projects ever undertaken because all these different countries came together with their space agencies and decided, yes, let's do this, and then assembled the thing in space. It's also been really important for us to help celebrate space and science and progression, especially with the anniversary of the space station being 20 years of humans living on the station. So as a kid, I was really interested in the classic space race. That was really something that I found really interesting, even though that was on gone, you know? So that really, really excited me that I could now work on a LEGO space station and, you know, grown up loving LEGO and space and not many people can say that they built a space station for NASA and I've been able to do that. <laughs>